Uh, okay, my name is Cindy Getchman. I live in Medjidia, Romania. I, this is my fifth year in Medjidia. I've been in full-time missions for seven years. I went into full-time missions under the promise of Joshua 1-3, that every place my foot shall tread, God has given it to me. When I first arrived in Medjidia, God told me to um, feed kids. And everything else that we do there is um, a bonus. There are kids who live in Romania, in Medjidia, who have no water, no electricity, no heat. They're living in extreme poverty, which is like under a dollar fifty a day to feed families of eight and ten. They stay on the street all day and rummage through the trash. They find metal and turn it in and sell it for money for their families. They stand outside in front of the doors and of the stores in Medjidia and beg for food and money. And now the community center is a place for them to come in and to feel safe and to belong to something and to learn how to uh, be part of a family. So we feed kids there. We shower kids, we exchange their clothes. We have two feeding programs, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. We have school, after school program, literacy program. The program is very important because they have lived in generations of poverty. Their parents did not go to school, the grandparents didn't go to school, the grand great-grandparents didn't go to school. They don't know the days of the week, the months of the year, the, the colors. They didn't even know how to hold a pencil. And now, five years later, our kids are writing, they're coloring, they're learning, and they know the days of the week, the months of the year, they know how to tell time. They're learning to read. And this year we have eight kids in school, registered in school. And seven in September will register, we hope, up to 10 more kids in school. The kids come there every single day. We want them to feel like it's their, that they're part of something, they belong to something. Most of our kids don't have birth certificates, so the program helps them get um, identity in their life. The Community Center Project also connects all the kids to the local church. So on Sundays they're involved in the church program there, in the kids program in the church. Um, they're gypsy kids so they're not accepted. People speak really ugly and bad to them. And um, even at the church at first they didn't like them so much. But now they're they're accepted and they sit so nice in the church and they listen and so we're making great accomplishments. We've been doing construction on the community center for four years. It's 9,000 square feet. It's a building that was abandoned. Not only does it house the program for the kids, but it also has a public library in partnership with the city. Once a week we have a medical clinic and a pharmacy there. A local doctor comes and sees patients. Um, every place our foot shall tread um, is a promise, and God fulfilled that promise by the mayor donated um, all the property that's not ours around that to build a playground for the community. Um, also, this year we will finish, we've been trying to finish for four years, we'll finish the coffee shop. It'll be used as an evangelical youth um, outreach the coffee shop is a great, it's the heart of the church, and I'm going to help them finish it. We want to teach our kids to give back. So at Christmas time, we asked our kids, we help families in our area, and at Christmas time, we asked our kids to bring simple food items to help this family. The kids know the family. The, the, uh, one of the girls has cerebral palsy and the boy was abandoned, left in the hospital by his mother for four years, and now she has custody of him again. And there's three families living in a very deplorable building there, and it's cold and rainy and muddy, and all of our kids went together, and they were so excited to give something to someone else. 
and even though they have nothing themselves. Another good project we just recently had at the community center was um, we invited all the kids' moms to come to the community center and have a lunch and just really serve them. And we prepared a very nice meal, a very nice table. And for all of them, it was the first time they ever sat at a table. Also, the kids is the first time they ever sat at a table, used a fork and a knife, a napkin, but they felt very loved and accepted. And that's really what the whole project is about, is love and acceptance and being part of something. We not only have the community center project, but we also have another project on the other side of the city called in the Turkish Church program. It's an evangelical Turkish church in partnership with other lo with local Romanians who from the church, from the Pentecostal church. And we also have 20, 15 to 20 kids who come to that project every single day. However, this community is a large Muslim community. So not only are, are we um, teaching them also how to read and write and to live in society? Um, We're also teaching them about Jesus. Uh, two years ago, we were working with a family of six kids and a mom and a dad. And the mom and dad left Medjidia to move to Spain to work. They left all six of their kids home alone from age 15 to two, with no food, no water, no electric. We really worked with that family. We had great um, relationship with the kids. And uh, two years ago, the state, someone called and the state came and took them into an orphanage. So in the last two years, we've been visiting those kids in, um, in the orphanage. And I really would like to get them out of the orphanage and into foster care into my foster care. <laughs> Every day when I see their pictures in the community center, or I see their faces and on my computer, I tell them, I tell the picture that I'm coming to get them. And so with that, we'll come to build a house in Tortomanu, which is next to the church on the property. It has a beautiful property behind it and we hope to build, I hope to build a house there and do foster care. So many times there's emergency situations with our kids. We need a place for them to come just temporarily. And so this is what the house is for Tortomano. After, the, the, after that's established for five years, we will begin to um, impart it over to the, to the village and to the church for a safe house for human trafficking. Once we finish this year at the community center, um, we will actually in September, we're gonna move our first community center plant in a small village outside of Medjidia where there's a church plant. So this will be the first community center church plant and there's 11 other churches I would like to have a community center project. The pastor of the Pentecostal church has a vision to build 44, plant 44 more churches by 2022. And so I would like to also have a community project, community center project in each one of those villages. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so it's a partnership. It's building relationships. It's um, expanding our territory like in Isaiah 54. It's, it's our inheritance. And we will take our area, Dobrasia, for God. One of the greatest things about Medjidia is that God loves it. And so far in the last four years, over 500 people have been on short-term trips, visitors, guests. Many opportunities to serve there. We have done medical clinics, kids programs, women's conference, men's conference, worship conference, youth conference, tent meetings. 
Whatever your gift or talent is, we want you to come and, and visit us. It's a great city, it's a great project, and it's, if you want to see the heart of God, you can come to Medjidiya because you can see what the heart of God looks like by coming there. I would like to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you who invested your time, your money, your prayers, and we can't do it without you. Together, we're transforming lives, we're transforming nations, it's biblical. And so we thank you from the bottom of our heart, from our kids, from our churches there, from me, because we can't do it without you. We need your prayers, we need your support financially, and God is doing amazing transformation in the city in the last four years. Together, we're changing generations. We're breaking chains of poverty. And so we really want you to be a part of it. It's a great ministry, it's a great God, and it's a great city. So we thank you.